Welcome to Parley's Diesel Performance Product Installation Training Series. Join us now and learn how to maximize your diesel's fuel economy and performance potential. Hi, Justin here. In our last installation video, we stacked a Smarty Tuner with a diesel power rail pressure module in a 2005 Dodge Ram 3 quarter ton with a 5.9 liter Cummins. The Smarty Tuner will make tons of power, so we wanted to take some safety precautions and get some gauges. Instead of traditional gauges, the owner of the Dodge chose to go with the Edge Insight CTS monitor. Let's take a closer look and see why this is such a popular choice. The Edge Insight CTS and CS monitors are available for all vehicles 1996 and newer with an OBD2 port. With a full color, high resolution, 4.3 inch color touchscreen, the Insight CTS displays all available data from your vehicle's computer. You can display up to eight parameters at a time, run engine diagnostics, and use as the monitor for a backup camera. With Edge's exclusive MyStyle software, you can customize the screen background for a look that's uniquely yours. In addition to the Insight monitor, we'll be installing an optional EGT probe and dash pod. Begin the install of the optional EGT probe by using a center punch tool to mark where you're going to drill the hole through the exhaust manifold wall. See figure 1.1. For best results, use a 2164 inch drill bit or a 516 inch drill bit if a 2164 isn't available. Start drilling the hole with the engine off first until you get a good start on the hole. Start the engine and leave it running while you finish drilling the hole. The exhaust pressure from the running engine will blow out any metal shavings produced. Take care towards the last part of the hole. Blow away any shavings that are close to the hole. You can also apply some grease to the tip of the drill bit. Plug the hole with a small rag or paper towel. Clear away any metal shavings. Prepare to use the thread tap and unplug the hole. Apply grease to a 1 8 inch NPT thread tap. Use the pipe tap to cut the threads in accordance to the pipe tap manufacturer's instructions and recommendations. Remove the thread tap and clean away any debris. Install the supplied fitting by screwing it into the newly tapped hole. Tighten the fitting so that it is securely seated. Install the probe into the fitting and tighten the top nut of the fitting just tight enough to keep the probe firmly mounted. Ideally, the tip of the fitting would be less than or flush with the inside of the exhaust flow path. See diagram 9.1 and take care not to bend the probe while you're installing it. Make sure that the probe cable is positioned to allow the best path with no bending when routing to the firewall. Secure in safe location with zip ties. Now trim the excess zip ties. Locate the rubber grommet on the driver's side firewall. Feed the end of the main cable through the rubber grommet. Take care not to damage the connector as you feed the cable through. Leave enough length between the dash and the end of the CTS connector for an easy install. Coil up the excess cable taking care not to bend the cable. Use zip ties to secure excess cable coil in a safe location. Again, trim the excess zip ties. To install the optional dash pod mount, use the supplied alcohol pin to swab clean the surface area where the Velcro pads will attach to the dash. Use the same pin to clean the marked tab areas on the underside of the dash pod mount. Attach the four metal tabs according to the numbers on the tabs and the tab placement markings on the dash pod mount. Use the alcohol pen to clean the metal tabs, then attach the Velcro tape pieces to each tab. P9 
peel off the Velcro tape backing from all four metal tabs, leaving the Velcro in place. Secure the dash pod mount to the dash as shown. Remove the dash side access panel located on the driver's side. Feed the EGT probe cable up through the dash and out the side panel. Connect the OBD2 cable to the OBD2 port and route the cable under the dash out the side panel up between the door seal trim and the edge of the dash. Tuck the cables back as far as you can as you route them up to the dash. Carefully separate Velcro pieces using a flathead screwdriver and remove the dash pod mount. Now coil up any excess cabling in the side panel access area. Leave enough slack to allow ease of connecting the InSight CTS monitor. Secure the cabling using zip ties. Install the supplied rubber cushion receiver to the dash pod mount. Make sure it's fully seated around each edge. Route the cables through the dash pod mount and reattach dash pod mount to the dash using the installed Velcro pads. Attach the CTS dash pod adapter to the back of the CTS and lock it in place. Connect the cables to the back of the CTS and insert the CTS adapter into the dash pod mount. You may need to pull the excess cables down the back of the mount while inserting the adapter. Put the side access panel back into place. The Edge InSight CTS monitor with optional EGT probe is now fully installed. Let's take a quick look at some of the operation and use of this great product. Start the truck. The InSight will power on. Now follow the prompts and select your diesel make. The InSight will detect the vehicle's protocol and initialize, and now you're up and running. There are so many different parameters and features, we highly recommend you spend some time and familiarize yourself with all of the tools available. For a more in-depth look at customizing and operating your InSight CTS monitor, we recommend watching Edge's guided tour video. Thank you for watching our product installation video. If you'd like more information on this great Edge product or any of our other diesel performance upgrades, please visit parleysdieselperformance.com. And don't forget, you can catch all of our diesel performance videos by clicking the Parley's logo on the screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel.